So we have um, Nabila Ehsan, and she's saying, do you think that primer application is important? Primer application is very important. It's relatively a new product. It's not a new product, but it is actually a barrier between your skin and your makeup, and it keeps your makeup long lasting. So, on all the issues, foundation oxidized, makeup is not good. Primer can solve the uh, that issue, and you can pick up the product. Uh, you can pick up the type of the primer according to the concern. So moving on, Seniza, Seniza, very sneezy. <laughs> Seniza Fatima is saying contouring was the rage last year. What is the most common mistake that girls do when it comes to contouring? Oh yes, I love this question, and I really wanted to address this because the the biggest mistake in contouring is the wrong selection of the bronzer color ah. like so you really have to pick the color which is only two to three shades darker than your normal complexion right. like you do not have to go with darkest brown color so if you are fair just pick a light brown color if you're medium complexion just pick a medium brown and if you have dark complexion so just pick a dark brown color Rima Hassan is saying is shimmer still in fashion it is very much in fashion, especially in winters, because in uh, our summers, we can't do much in our summers. Do not do the mistake of over uh, using, of over <laughs> highlights. Your face will lit up. <laughs> yes. So yes, in winters, but just use shimmer at the right points. Like you okay. don't have to apply it on your entire which is face. The nose which is your, which is your bridge of the nose, uh -huh. your cheekbones, your center of the forehead, and then your chin, because these are the high shine points. Right. So right. instead of in in points, we use. What if you have a round face like mine? What do you do? So if you have a round face, your gap is with your forehead and your chin will be gap in your chin. So instead of using a shimmer on your cheeks on, or on your uh, cheekbone, just use it on your forehead, your bridge of the nose and your chin so that you create the illusion of uh, the, the oval face instead ah. of giving the attention to your cheekbones. Wider face won't come out. So. Okay, great. Sabah Mukhtar is saying makeup trends have changed drastically. Which one do you see coming back in fashion? Uh, coming back in fashion, I think it's the 90s. It's 90s, definitely the 90s. Look. The warm, all bronze, yeah. like brown eyeshadow, brown lipstick, uh, brown bronzers, blush, and like like the Jennifer Aniston from Friends. So yeah, I yeah, just yeah, yeah. see a lot of and Brooke bombers. Shield and Sydney Brooke Crawford, yes. yeah, all of that, all of that, yeah, the mad brownish, the brownish. Mm -hmm. Moving yes. on, Fatima Khurram is saying, I have a nine to five job. What do you recommend for maintaining makeup that should stay for longer hours? Since so sometimes I have to go for meetings. All right, on and off. The most important thing is your long-lasting liquid lipsticks. Uh -huh. So try to use that because if your lipstick is bad, it's not normally used to drink tea, eat tea, and you do not have the time Pani to go and beating, freshen yeah. up your lipstick. Mm -hmm. So one of the most important things is that you should be having a compact powder in your bag all the time so that you can touch your makeup with your makeup. Because it's a T-zone. It's oily. Ho and then indoors, mein, uh, especially, and especially in this uh, weather, we are using lots of heating. We are using our skin se, uh, jo, uh, oil from our skin. Mm -hmm. वो, वो end पे पांच बजे के करीब वो लगता है आपके मुंह पे बहुत ज़्यादा एक layer आ गई है just use the compact powder right. आप you can use blot papers as well mm -hmm. you can get the blot papers instead of tissue papers use that because उससे आपका makeup ख़राब नहीं होता है और उसकी setting भी रहती है compress हो जाता है right